American Muslims are better positioned than anybody to show that it is possible to be faithful to Islam and to be part of a pluralistic society. Should a president's faith matter? Should your faith matter to voters? Oh, well, I guess it depends on what that faith is. So do you believe that uh, Islam is consistent with the Constitution? Uh, no, I don't. I do not. So I, I would not advocate that we put a Muslim in charge of this nation. I absolutely would not agree with that. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. How many Muslims are in America? I, I don't know the number off the top of it. So you're saying that law enforcement should surveil a number of Muslims and you don't even know how many Muslims are in America? What I'm there saying... There are three million Muslims in America. Yeah. It's, it's impractical what you're suggesting, meaning it's more of a political point that you're making. And like so many faiths, Islam is rooted in a commitment to compassion and mercy and justice and charity. You reach out to us, we reach out to you, we reach out to each other. That's where this will begin to change. Stay engaged in your community. Help move our country forward, your country forward. Well, where are the Islamic voices out there that are saying something else besides hatred? Part of the answer is to make sure that the Muslim community, in all of its variety, and every, all the good works that are, it's doing, and all the talent that's on display, that it's out there, visible on a consistent basis, not just uh, at, at a, a certain moment. But what is also true is, is that th there is a battle of hearts and minds that takes place, uh, that is taking place right now, and American Muslims are better positioned than anybody to show that it is possible to be faithful to Islam and to be part of a pluralistic society and to be on the cutting edge of science and to believe in democracy. And so, uh, so I, I would urge all of you not to see this as a burden but as a great opportunity and, and, and a great uh, a great privilege to show who you are. Uh, to use a little Christian uh, expression, let your, let your light shine. Uh, because when you do, you'll, you'll make clear that this is not a clash of civilizations between the West and Islam. This is a struggle between the peace-loving, overwhelming majority of Muslims around the world and a radical tiny minority and ultimately I'm confident that the overwhelming majority will win that battle. There are voices out there speaking for community, unity and to, to explain a little bit about what we believe. You know, the Sheikh's doing it. He's not just talking about it. And I, that story needs to get out. If you tell no other story from this week, for me, you know, it was like one of the greatest times of my life. Tell this story today.